just a word of advice to people who um, need emergency services and call for air conditioning help. Make it a priority to be home. And please don't tell me you're home, come on over when you're not home. That ain't gonna end well. This one, I have keys for. So um, let's go in and see what's going on. They are showing this trailer later on. It does look like all the power is turned on. Let's go get our meter. Lovely. We have a solid block of ice. This one looks real familiar. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I recently replaced a blower motor on this. So let's first check, make sure I did not do something wrong here. See about this high voltage up here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I hope I didn't, but the motor ain't burn up. Y'all see this? All right, that. How is this getting hot? Hmm. All right, hold on. That is hot all the time. If I can do this in a way where y'all can see it. That is hot all the time. It comes from the top of that sequencer right there. And this other one that also got hot. It comes from the other side of this sequencer, which is right here. So it brings on the low speed when the sequence, when this relay is not energized and it's just a call for heat. So right now, I just want to know if this thing's gonna, if the blower is burned up. Because if it was energized in two speeds, Could have burned up the motor. All right, let's move these over here. 
Mobile which is still right. Lovely. My main question is, why was it getting hot? Looks like that relay's burned up now. All right, we know that this is getting power all the time. That's my run wire. See if we can make that blower motor run. Please run. That's good. So we need to rewire a little bit and get us a relay. <laughs> oh my word. Thank God I don't have to do the blower motor again because that would have been under warranty. Alright. Y'all see how I'm having to reach back there. <laughs> Using this Klein impact screwdriver. It helps me reach places I normally wouldn't be able to reach. Right now I got ice in my way. Just gonna be the only screw going in that one. Make sure it's tight. Okay. Let's see what we can reuse. It ain't a whole lot. I can reuse this low voltage.
That's what that looked like. <laughs> That's probably the reason the first blower motor failed. And I didn't catch it. That's my low voltage, this is common, and this is my green wire to energize the fan relay. Mm, I gotta put new ends on these. I'll do that real quick. Right, I know this is hard to see, but I'm gonna hook up. Let's just use the other side over here. This is black, I'm going to normally open. This is blue. Both of these wires go straight to the blower motor. These are speed taps. And blue is going over here to normally closed. I know it's tight quarters, but there they are right there. Now we gotta hook up these two. Like I said, this is normally open and this one is normally closed. So I'm going to extend those or just get new wires and run them over there. All right, this is, if y'all can see that, this is my yellow wire. It comes off the side of the sequencer that always has power. And that's going up here on my normally open. All right, this is my blue wire you see right here. It comes off the side of the sequencer that gets power when the sequencer is energized and it's coming over here on my, my normally closed set of contacts. Oops, y'all excuse me. All right, so this one goes to normally closed when this has power all the time, right here. This is the other side of your blower motor. It has to have two sides of power. One of them feeds right here. And it has power all the time. So does your transformer. The other side comes from right here. This is normally open. When the relay energizes, it sends power from here to high speed. When this energizes, if the relay is not energized, this has power and it sends power to low speed. All right, let's go turn the air conditioner off. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, yes, there were crickets in the ceiling, but uh, that's pretty common. If you did enjoy the video, how about like and subscribe? And I'm gonna try to go live tonight with somebody that I've been talking to that works down in South Florida. So be on the lookout for that and I'll catch you on the next one.